This is the Felt Sport E, and it's really their answer for like a round town and almost up into a road bike uh, in terms of electric bikes. It's really neat to see Felt getting into the electric bike space, and 2015 is, is really the, the start of it for them. They've partnered with Bosch, which provides this awesome mid-drive system, and there's the battery right there. Um, really an excellent drive system, but I'll get to that in a minute. In terms of the frame, um, what we're looking at here is a 7005 aluminum um, all the way through. There's no suspension, but there are some nice attachment points here, some bosses for a rack in the back, and a, you could probably add uh, fenders as well if you wanted to. And that's always really nice to have that kind of uh, upgradeability. You can personalize it if you're using it to commute downtown, that kind of a thing. Um, the frame does come in four different sizes. This is a 55 that we're looking at right here. And that's going to make it a little bit easier to find a proper fit so that this thing feels um, good ergonomically. Uh, but the wheels and everything else, of course, will remain the same. What we're looking at here are these Schwabi, um, looks like Energizer Life. And I was just looking at the, the sizing a minute ago. They do have this awesome reflective sidewall. Yeah, there it is. So looking at 700 by 32C, which is equivalent to 28 by 1.25 inches. Um, fairly narrow. We've got a little bit of a hybrid tread on them, but very efficient rolling. And overall, this is a relatively lightweight electric bike. It's about 40 pounds total, kind of depending on the, the frame size that you go with. And I love how balanced it is. So this is sort of a characteristic of all Bosch powered electric bikes. The weight is very low and centrally located. And in fact, the battery pack is removable. So you could take that off and cruise around town and, and be in pretty good shape in terms of weight. I think that takes off eight or nine pounds, the battery right there. So you're down to like a 31, 32 pound bike. Um, but the battery is quite impressive in terms of range when, when you partner that up. So before I get too much further into the drive system, let me just comment on the components. We're looking at Shimano Diore XT. That's pretty high component group right there. 10 speeds in the rear, which is good range. Um, you know, that's enough to help you up hills also get you going fairly fairly quick. The electric drive system cuts out at about 20 miles per hour per uh, legislation in the United States. That's kind of standard. But of course, you can pedal faster than that, and this motor system isn't going to inhibit that. It has kind of a freewheel. So, you know, the pedals and everything work just like a normal bicycle, but there's only one ring in the front. One of the things that I love about this bike over some of the other Bosch powered bikes I've seen is that they've got this nice almost like a little bit of a chain guide slash chain guard, so your pants aren't gonna touch that front ring. There is a tiny little um, sprocket up front. You can kind of see it through there. And really, that's, that's your limitation up front. And then in the rear, again, we've got 10 speeds. They're controlled with this nice trigger shifter up front that's grouped nicely with these Shimano brake levers. They are hydraulic disc brakes, front and rear, 160 millimeter rotors quick release front and rear. So again, that's one of the huge advantages of uh, most mid-drive systems, but um, especially in, the, in this case, you can true the wheel, you can service the tire, fix a flat, all of that at a standard bike shop or on your own um, because all of the electric drive stuff is right there in the middle, and that's awesome. There's actually no service schedule um, or maintenance schedule for the Bosch motor as well. So they're, they're known for being and they're really setting a high standard for being reliable, which is awesome. Kind of a standard kickstand here on the left, which is great to have so you don't have to lay this thing down, but it does blend in. It sort of stays out of the way as you're riding. We've got these felt branded pedals, plastic with a little bit of a, a larger surface area, a little bit of a rubberized grip. These can get a little bit slippery, you know, if, if your feet get wet. And you know, we mentioned the fenders a minute ago. You can always sort of upgrade this. And I like the semi-deep dish rims that, uh, that this bike comes with. It's just a nice look overall. And this sort of black and red um, frame, frame color. So up top, we've got these uh, really cool, again, felt branded kind of ergonomic grips. They don't appear to have lockers, so they can twist a little bit more, um, which is like, eh, you know. Not, not terrible. A lot of other electric bikes that have throttles, you know, you've only got that much of an actual grip and it's a lot easier to twist. So in this case, I think it works out pretty well. Got a little bell here on this one. Nice stem. Um, overall, just a beautiful bike. And one of the things that's been called out um, is this really cool saddle here that's kind of got the gel feel in it, really soft, and it's meant to dissipate heat despite being black, which of course will absorb heat. 
Um, in my time riding it, it's felt pretty good. It's a uh, Cell Royale saddle. Um, I guess I can't comment too much on the heat because it's sort of the evening, but uh, that's, that's a neat feature to see. So all around, really cool bike. Now let's talk about the drive system. 350 watt center drive from Bosch. This is the second generation. They've been making these in Europe for a long time at 250 watts. And in 2014, 2015 is where they're really um, coming onto the scene here. It's an awesome system because it basically takes those 350 watts with 60 Newton meters of torque and then it applies that to whatever gear you're in. So just like as a human, you're pedaling and you switch down to climb a hill, well, when you switch down to climb, you're also enabling that motor to climb more efficiency, efficiently. So these things can actually go really, really far given the battery pack here. So we're looking at a 36 volt, 11 amp hour lithium ion pack. It is removable. There's like that keyed right here, put the key in this whole thing pops off, but you don't have to do that to charge it. You can also charge it right on the bike, which is really cool. And you can also kind of measure capacity remaining. So again, overall, really good system. It gets excellent range and it actually approximates the range up here. So you press this power button, the display lights up, and then you can use this little information button here or here to cycle through. So right now it's saying our trip distance is 12.8 miles, clock, max speed 33 miles per hour so someone really got this thing going and average speed 15.4 miles per hour trip time range so right now we're in zero assist so of course it can't approximate the range but we do have basically a full battery so if i press up once into eco that's the lowest form of assist it approximates 66 miles that you can get on a full charge of battery and i mean that's really not exaggerating if you're pedaling along because it is pedal activated, there's no throttle. It measures your pedal force, your pedaling speed, and the bike speed with the standard sort of magnet sensor here. So it's listening to all three of those things. It's dynamically powering you. Really, you can go 66 miles, depending on the terrain and stuff. That's amazing. Um, that, that it's almost like you don't have to charge it every single time you ride, and, and that's a great feeling. If I arrow up to the next level, Tour, well, the range drops to 34 miles, and then Sport, 28 miles, turbo, 25 miles. So you can see it sort of progressively drops as the bike gives you more assistance. Um, in my, my time riding this bike, I've stayed in eco and tour, and that's still a really satisfying um, boost. Also, the display is removable. You can just slide it off like that, which is super cool, so that you know if you have to leave this outside or you're parking it at work or something, people won't mess with the display, and the bike can't really be operated without that, which is cool. Slides right back on. I think that's basically it. You kind of get the idea. Solid bike, racing heritage. Felt is a company that makes a bunch of different types of bikes, but they've really um, done an excellent job bringing a high class, high end components frame and then mating it with this really top of the line drive system. So it is fairly expensive. This is about $4,000 but it's a system that's gonna last. And of course you can replace the battery too if that ever expires. Um, I think you get kind of a two year warranty on that. So let's hop on. I'll show you what the, uh, the motor sounds like when we get it going. Let me go ahead and just start it off in turbo, which is the top so you can hear the motor. So you can hear it sort of start and stop when I pedal. And I was doing that just, just to show you how responsive it is. Um, it's awesome to have a system like this that's listening so closely. Of course, that incentivizes you to pedal along. And it means that if you stop pedaling or you pull the brakes or whatever, um, the bike is going to respond and it's not going to accidentally take you further or faster than you want. So it is a little bit more of a forward position, a little bit more aggressive, uh, but not too bad. And again, you, you are able to fit this bike to your needs because there are those four different frame sizes. And it does come in a step-through frame as well. And I'm gonna do that uh, as a separate review. And that one comes in two sizes. So really, um, you know, an awesome system all around. That's the Felt Sport E. 
for the full write-up on this with all the specs. I'll see you back at electricbikereview.com.